Ahmed, before we um, before we before we shut, we were we were talking all about the NHS staffing crisis. So, if Liz, you know, and I think that you were being very humble. That's one of the reasons I like talking to you because you're an extremely successful person that's done a huge amount of good in the world, but you're still extremely humble, which is fantastic. Um, and not wishing to put locum's nest sort of front and center when you've obviously had such a huge impact in this area. But if if Liz or the, any of the leaders of the NHS, I mean, Liz Trust, I, I, I don't know her. I don't know why I call her Liz. Um, but if she's listening or if anyone is listening, what, what would you want them to do now to make... To, I know it's multifaceted, right? But but like, what are the one, two and three things that you think should be done in the shortest period of time to try and exacerbate this thing? To use your model of what can I do today? What can I do tomorrow? And then there's the longer term. Yeah. Uh, what can you do today is is listen. L- listen to the clinicians, listen to their pain points. I I was out of clinical practice for just over four years. And when I came back, you know, my word that things change. Um, so the knowledge that people hold on to from their time a few years ago or the connections a few years old is very different to today. So if I were Liz, um, <laughs> I, I would spend my first few days, weeks listening to clinicians, not just the leaders, but the people on the ground too, to understand what they feel is is going on. Um, there will be a lot to chew on. Um, can't advise on all of them, but if I wanted quick wins as the prime minister, uh, an immediate, you know, felt benefits by the UK population, general public, I would mandate that if you're a doctor anywhere in the country or a nurse or a pharmacist or a physio, anybody who works for the NHS in any capacity, I want to make it my objective to make it as easy as possible for you to cross cover shifts across NHS trust boundaries the technology is there to do it. It's not just us, although we are the best. Of course, I'll say that. But there's plenty of others out there that would do it. But you will immediately, even before this winter, and winter is going to be difficult this winter, see an impact, not just in financial savings, but in clinical outcomes. And and this is a zero-risk approach uh, until somebody tells me otherwise. But I've been doing this for six years now, and nobody's told me a reason why this is a bad idea. 